We've all seen it. You come home from work and the trash is strewn across the living room carpet, and there's your dog in the middle of it all, tail thumping rapidly and gaze averted. The guilty look. In humans, the guilty look is not only an admission of guilt, but is also a sign that the person feels badly about it. On the one hand, guilt is important in our human social structure because admitting you were wrong is a step toward mending relationships. Along with that come appeasement and reconciliation. On the other hand, dogs are not humans. Anthropomorphism is the attribution of human characteristics to non-human things or animals. We humans do this all the time, but oftentimes our speculations miss the mark. This shouldn't be too surprising. After all, dogs certainly behave differently than we do. They greet one another by sniffing rear ends. They enjoy digging holes and chewing on sticks and rolling in smelly stuff. Their worldview is very different from ours. Research has found that a dog's supposed guilty look does not carry the same meaning that it does for humans. Fido's reaction to your frustration or anger does not necessarily mean that he has any knowledge of his misdeed. Furthermore, scolding or punishment is not going to teach Fido what he did wrong, nor is it going to decrease the bad behavior in the future. In 2009, Alexander Horowitz published a study in behavioral processes exploring what precedes the guilty look. Horowitz was able to determine what a dog's guilty look is associated with in an experiment by varying the dog's behavior, either eating or not eating a forbidden treat, as well as the owner's behavior, either scolding or not scolding the dog. She found that the guilty look did not occur any more frequently in the dogs who had done something wrong. However, the look did appear in full form when the dog was scolded by the owner. In fact, Horowitz discovered that the most exaggerated guilty looks appeared in dogs who had not eaten the forbidden treat, but were scolded anyway because the owner thought the dog had eaten it. But wait, you're thinking, it can't only be about scolding. The claim is that dogs show the guilty look before the owner even discovers the misdeed. You come home only to be greeted by your beloved dog with low posture, ears back, lip licking, and a tail wagging low and quick. Or maybe the dog is hiding under the bed and won't budge. You enter the kitchen and find that the dog has rearranged the trash all over the floor. This, they claim, indicates that dogs know they've done something wrong because the owner hasn't even scolded them yet. This scenario was investigated in 2010, and the findings were published in Applied Animal Behavior Science in 2012. In the experiment, dogs had the opportunity to break a rule, that food on the table is for humans and not dogs, while the owner was out of the room. When the owner returned, but before they saw whether the dog ate the food or not, the dogs who ate were not more likely to look guilty than those who didn't eat. Additionally, the study did not find that owners could successfully identify a guilty look without scolding them first. To date, researchers have not yet found direct support for the claim that dogs look guilty in the absence of scolding, but this doesn't necessarily mean nothing's going on. Patricia McConnell, certified applied animal behaviorist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, comments, So often people think their dog knows she shouldn't potty in the house because she greets them at the door looking guilty, with her head and tail down, her eyes all squinty and submissive. All that crouching and groveling is a white flag to avoid her owner's wrath, not a sign she's aware she's broken some moral code of dog-human relationships. So what is this behavior all about? In short, each time you come in the front door and begin scolding your dog, you are reinforcing the idea that my human is unpredictable. Sometimes my human comes home angry, and that makes me worry. Your dog isn't sure which version of you is going to walk in the door, and so she begins displaying appeasement behaviors in the hopes of diffusing your potential anger. Julie Hasht, in a 2015 article for the Scientific American, asks, When you get angry or forgive your guilty dog for demolishing the house, you ignore deeper concerns that, if addressed, could reduce or eliminate those behavior problems. Was the dog bored? Scared? Anxious? Did something change in your routine that confused them? Sadly, scolding dogs after the fact most often doesn't decrease future bad behavior. If anything, the guilty look could just become more exaggerated over time as your confused companion develops an anxious cycle of destruction and appeasement. Indeed, behaviors that we consider to be irritating or even downright destructive, such as digging, chewing, barking, pacing, and licking, are often self-rewarding because it is soothing for Fido to engage in these repetitive behaviors when he is bored or anxious. If your pup is engaging in destructive behaviors, it's important to first determine why. Understanding the cause of the problem will help you decide what you can do about it. In any case, 
Dogs are a social species. They have a desire to maintain their good relationships with us. A dog who displays submissive behavior towards another dog is much more likely to be shown mercy. In a questionnaire with study participants, it was found that nearly 60% of participating dog owners reported that Fido's guilty look led them to scold him less. So while the guilty look is not an admission of guilt, submissive behavior serves a purpose. It helps keep dogs safe. Subscribe and be notified when we post new content. Thanks for watching.